It is the 6th of September 2017, and that can mean only one thing. It is time for episode 23 of Boruto. Bombs come in all shapes. And everyone is getting stabbed. No, seriously, like three people got stabbed this episode. Well, I guess four if you count Naruto kind of deflecting that knife near the end. But that's not the theme of this episode. This episode is kind of the conclusion of the Shin arc. I was not expecting that this early, honestly. I'll go into that more in a little bit. But first off, I'd really like to talk about that fight scene between Sakura and Shin. Holy shit, I was not expecting something that well animated and that hectic. It didn't last all that long, but man, what did happen in it was insane. People just running up walls and pillars, Sakura throwing an entire pillar at Shin and stuff, and adding that explosive tag, that was really, really cool. Honestly, so far, probably the best fight scene in Boruto. And I know, you know, it could escalate later on, but so far, man, I was really pleased with that. And you know, for Adel Chin's last appearance, I thought that was pretty cool. The whole knife arm thing and the knife leg part was just really interesting. I don't know, I, I really like how he was just dedicated to being a really weird medical weirdo guy. That was a great description there, well done me. But overall, that showdown with Sakura, I don't know, was just really fantastic. And you know, that fight scene actually went so fast that I could barely capture any uh, screenshots. This is the best I could find. And in the frame, it isn't even showing her fighting with Shin. And man, talking about Shin, or Shins, you know, the small, younger Shins, the child Shins, whatever. That was a really cool part of them kind of rising up and turning on old Shin. And I felt it was nice poetic justice for last week, where he was just like, oh, the only reason people live is to carry on genes, and when they're old, they'll be tossed aside. So the little shins were like, well, you're old, you're going to be tossed aside, that's what you taught us. And it was, it had a really creepy vibe, I really liked that, the, the fact that they'd been cloning themselves secretly, and that not all of the clones looked the same, and they all turned out a bit weird, and the giant shin, I don't understand how he exists, did he die? Because if he didn't, then is he going to be taught at that school where they were taken later on? And actually, that's an interesting thing. So I wonder how much Shin is going to play into, you know, the future storyline. And by Shin, I mean all of them, because it's just easier than saying Shins. Because obviously they didn't show up in the movie or anything, so I wonder if they will play a part later on. Like, will they form a team of themselves or something? Will there just be a massive army of Shins? I'm actually really excited to see what they do with that. It's got so much potential of like them branching off and forming their own personalities and stuff. Or hell, their own nation. I mean, I'm thinking long term here, but imagine that if they all kind of rose up and left the leaf village and started their own kind of village. That would be really weird. It would kind of be like the uh, vaults from Fallout in a way. Wasn't there a vault that was just filled with clones of the same person? I think there was. If so, I'll put an image up here. And as I said earlier, I was kind of surprised to see this arc finishing in this episode. In the space of 23 episodes, we've had two full arcs. And, well, I say full arcs because there's no exact standard for how long an arc has to be. And each one has kind of been 12 episodes, I guess. And, you know, I was fine with this, but I was kind of expecting Shin to, you know, escalate a little, to leave and maybe form a group. But I guess not. I guess this is the end, unless the little shins start some weird evil group and they rise up. But either way, I was kind of expecting Shin to last a little longer and be a little more of a bad guy. But whatever, I don't know, maybe that's the point of Boruto. Maybe they don't want to make an arc that lasts, you know, 50 or 60 episodes. Maybe they do just want to make one that lasts at most 20. And I'm okay with that, I think. It's just, I'm so used to Shippuden having really long arcs that that's kind of what I was expecting. And you know, this wrapped up a few things, and it kind of did it nicely, because it concerned the storylines of quite a few characters, and they all kind of had closure. I mean, Chocho finally found her real dad. Spoilers, it's actually Georgie. Now we got to see Karen briefly, who explained why it was the weird genetic mix-up thing with Karen being technically Sarada's mother, according to that machine. It's because she delivered Sarada or something. I didn't really understand that. I think I just kind of zoned out or something. I'm sure the explanation is very easy and, you know, 
I'm happy to accept that Karen isn't Sarada's mum. I really like Sakura. Honestly, actually, I think this arc has made me like Sakura more than the entirety of Naruto Shippuden has. Maybe that's a bit hyperbolic. I mean, I did kind of like her, but I don't know. This one just made me think like, wow, yeah, Sakura's a really cool character, actually. And man, that ending with Sasuke doing the forehead flick to Sarada was just... That, I think that got a lot of people, honestly, from the comments I've seen in the uh, Crunchyroll video. And I'm sure it's the same on forums, but that was really touching. And talking about touching, I like that they kind of changed the ending video for the last episode of this arc. And I assume this is going to be the last time we hear Sayonara Moontown. Maybe there'll be a new ending next week? Who knows? But anyway, I like that they edited it just to be about Sarada finally kind of finding both of her parents and accepting them. It's a little touch, and I know a lot of people don't watch ending videos, so, you know, maybe people won't care, but I did. And talking about ending, it is time for... NEXT TIME! Where it seems that Sarada has finally decided that she wants to become Hokage, and Boruto is, I guess, angry at that? It's kind of hard to tell, but she did bring this up in the movie, so it's not a surprise or anything. But it's cool that they're slowly ambling towards where the movie took place, and hopefully the tune-in exams shouldn't be long. Especially now that each arc is only taking like 12 episodes or whatever. Even if they do put an arc between now and the tune-in exams, there'll still be, you know, the tune-in exams within the next 20 episodes, I reckon. I don't know, I could be wrong. And that about wraps it up for my review of episode 23 of Boruto. Thank you very much for watching, and if you stuck around till this long, then well done to you. If you do enjoy this, then maybe subscribing to my channel would be kind of cool. I'd appreciate it anyway. And of course, if you do want to leave a like, that would be awesome. Or if you want to leave a dislike, you know, it's nice to know what people feel about these episodes. And as always, if you do want to comment, then please leave a comment below. I always like reading them. And until next time, goodbye.